This easy vegan red lentil curry is mild in spice and a great recipe to start with if you're new to making curry. Ready in 30 minutes, creamy and comforting, easily adaptable if you want to kick up the heat, and it costs us less than $5 to make. Hello, I'm Catherine, and if you're new to a plant-based diet and new to making curry, hopefully you will soon become close friends. If you're a regular here, you know that I love recreating recipes from my childhood that are Portuguese recipes. So curry isn't something that I grew up eating, but it was one of the first things that I learned how to make when I started incorporating more plant-based meals into our everyday. So I'm excited to show you this one. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and let's get started. And this is a simple recipe that's ready in 30 minutes. It's mild in spice and it's super filling. And you liked my red lentil ragu so much that hopefully you still have red lentils in your pantry and you'll have everything on hand that you need for this easy vegan curry. Start by sauteing one small diet onion and two cloves of minced garlic in a bit of oil or a dash of water or broth. Cook for about three minutes or until the onion is softened and the garlic is fragrant. Add one tablespoon curry powder and one teaspoon cumin. Toast the spices for one minute. Curry powder is a great spice to have on hand because it's a combination of spices that are traditional in Indian cooking. So if you are new to making curry, then this is a great way to incorporate those flavors without needing all the individual spices. And I use ground cumin in a lot of my cooking. So I've added an extra teaspoon into this recipe, but cumin is one of the spices in this curry powder. So you can just use this. And at the end of the cooking time, when you taste your curry, if you wanna boost up the flavor a little bit, just sprinkle some more of this in. Add two cups of vegetable broth or water. Broth will add more flavor, so I use my homemade vegetable broth to keep this recipe as thrifty as possible. One cup red split lentils that have been quickly rinsed and 450 milliliters diced tomatoes. Raise the heat a bit to bring the liquid to a low boil, then reduce to a simmer and simmer with the lid on for 10 to 15 minutes. I use red split lentils in this curry like I do for my red lentil ragu because split lentils cook quicker than whole lentils. They're split in half, so the cooking time is reduced and that makes them really friendly for weeknight meals. I also tend to use canned tomatoes in this recipe for pantry friendliness. And if you have a larger can of tomatoes, you'll only need about half of this. And if you hate having leftovers, then you can use this whole can in this recipe. You'll just have to cook the curry longer to reduce that extra liquid. But I know that I'll use those leftover tomatoes in the next day or two. So what I do is I put them in a mason jar and keep this in my fridge or even freeze it if I'm not going to use it in the next couple days. After 10 to 15 minutes of simmering this curry and periodically giving it a stir, the lentils have cooked and soaked up a lot of that liquid. Add in one cup coconut milk. You can use full fat coconut milk or a light coconut milk if you prefer. Add one cup cooked chickpeas and a dash of cinnamon. Cook uncovered for another five minutes. Give your curry a taste and add in some spice if you want it spicier, more curry powder, or more salt to bring out the flavors if needed. Stir in one cup packed spinach, and when it's wilted, remove the curry from the heat. And that's it. Today I am serving this vegan red lentil curry with turmeric rice. And this is brown rice that I've cooked with a teaspoon of turmeric, a bit of salt, and a dash of pepper. And it's a great way to boost up the flavor of your rice. Brown rice cooks in about 30 to 45 minutes. So if you start it before you start your curry, they'll both be done around the same time. But if you're in a pinch, you can use some white rice or like I did today, defrost some frozen rice that you previously cooked. You can also serve this vegan red lentil curry with some roasted vegetables on the side and don't forget some delicious Indian naan bread. Have I got you craving some comforting curry? Hopefully you are excited to try this vegan red lentil curry. And this recipe serves between four to six, depending on whether you serve it with some rice or enjoy a larger portion on its own with naan. And using our homemade broth and our chickpeas cooked from scratch, it costs us $4.86. If we use store-bought broth and canned chickpeas, then our cost goes up by about $2 to $6.86. And these recipes for the curry and the turmeric rice are linked below for you as are the blog posts and videos on how to make your own vegetable broth and how to cook chickpeas from scratch. If you loved this episode, then we would love for you to hit that subscribe button. We have a new video for you every Sunday at 5 p.m. and next Sunday we're coming up to St. Patrick's Day. So I'm going to show you how to make the easiest loaf of bread in the world, a vegan Irish soda bread that is on your table in 40 minutes. And I'm gonna serve it with some vegan Irish Guinness stew. See you then. 
Did that sound Irish? Dialects were never my strong suit. See you then. See you then. See you then. See you oh, then. He should have been the actor. What am I doing with my life? <laughs>